Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the newest Darcy's. Hey! Oh, yes, I Welcome. hope I'm not the newest Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, there's been Darcy's. a lot of time hopefully. for new Darcy's. Yeah, hopefully, but it, you never know. Some, some, some names, names drop, do die. <laughs> yeah, James dropped off from like number one for like 30 years to just obliterated to gone absolutely gone which is which is good i don't need too many jameses around today <laughs> we're, one's enough today we're going to be playing some atari 8 you mean james james James. yes uh we were in los angeles and we we're taking ubers mm -hmm. and uh they say james mm -hmm. in spanish right mm -hmm. and one of the drivers uh said to me james <laughs> so he's like spanglish <laughs> he spanglishized my name which is very funny. very funny That's uh funny. today we have three new games including mikey an arcade port uh missile command arcade using trackball in trackball mode oh that makes me very excited but also removes all hope <laughs> i won't be able to play it well um uh, and Not it's that also I ever had any, a vbx e game <laughs> and two of the developers are in the chat today Woo! uh and we're also gonna be having the exclusive final binary of the game shift exclusive so we have a big show today very exciting but before we get to the show, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. All of them. And this kitty. Oh, they help support this kitty as well. All of them. 8-Bit Poet, Alda Ferranter, Atari, Atari, Atari 1974, Atari, BR Poker, Bruno Stacks, Captain Classic, Charles Stony Mal, Charles Will and Chitlilla, Cubanismo, Cyrano Rebo, Danny VC, Dave M A Z, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Dev, Great Offender, H O J 2309, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC, Caputo Coder, Carl G, Kara Cat, Croco, Cavelver, Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping. Hey, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing. Ah, I can hear myself. Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mick Atal, Miss Nomer, uh, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Mini, Nostalgic, 26 Pseudographics, Koag, Arantuitz, Rendered Ghost, Repentance, VG, Reverend Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice for Spindley, Yes, Ramirez, Tiki Dan, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, Tweeny, Vaxars, Vic, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoco, VVG Double Down, X Ken X, and just before the show, we had a litany of people subscribing including e e anchuitz r anchuitz those are the two developers of missile command arcade uh and also carl g and darcy is desperately trying to resubscribe i did resubscribe <laughs> it's too late too it, late it should come up on the screen maybe at some point it'll come up no on the screen. We'll i see. tried my trick but it's it's tanya tried to trick that trick yes the last show and it didn't work either like you crash out and reload oh Twitch. Uh, you know what i forgot to close uh, oh there God. you go is it gonna work you gotta close the window and crash the out. app Otherwise, it's we'll still see. running. Otherwise, it's all like, yeah, yep. we're on TV. Is okay, Combat Zone ready? No, but I did think about it 10 minutes it before the work. show. Yep. It did so work. So that is it. <gasps> it's it's that you have to, like, you have to, like, close the window and, and, and get rid of it. Get rid of the Out of memory. Yeah. Morning. Thank you, Drexel. Morning. The treat ball is loose. Oh, uh -oh. what is that? <laughs> I love his <laughs> face. <laughs> What? 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 And he, he looks at the speaker. Yeah. It's street ball time. Well, the speaker is the source of the love. Not not you, not me. <laughs> it's the speaker. <laughs> the speaker gives him treats. How but many? today, uh, ten or so. He's a he's a good boy. He deserves lots of treats. Okay, that's the ten, and here's the so, and that's been left up to me, so that's I'll right. make it whatever the bonus I feel. Bonus treats like. for the good kitties. And somebody suggested I put the map of combat, and you can open it like almost all the way. Not all the way. That's too no, easy. How much? That's yeah. That's good. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! oh I help. I'm helping. There you go. And somebody suggested that we print out the combat layout for the box, so we can play around with the ball in combat. And uh, I, I will do that for next uh, episode because that's super awesome idea. Uh, uh, nothing would happen with treat time. It would be weird, and it'd be one cat ringing a bell. And this, this is pretty much, yeah. So we're not doing treat time, uh, for the next foreseeable future, unfortunately. 
Um, so, the big news, the big news is, of course, you've seen it, it happened yesterday, Atari bought Intellivision. <clears throat> yeah. The console wars are over. <laughs> Peace has been achieved. <laughs> um, yeah, it was yesterday that um, uh, Atari acquired Intellivision. Uh, Sorry, doesn't tell... Does intelligent does intelligent like actually do anything? Have they do they have current stuff? Or are they buying I, I'm I, it makes That's, perfect sense for them to buy old Intellivision. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yep. But do they have like newer stuff that we didn't know about or I would say no. Okay. Okay. I, I in in general, I would say no. They have licensed their stuff to compilations on various platforms over the years. Recently, they there was a big push in the last four, oh, about six years now. Uh, it came to nothing. Uh, Tommy Tellerico uh, bought in television, tried to put out a new console, did not put out a new console, took a bunch of people's money, refunded a lot of people's money. <laughs> not all people's money. Not everybody's money. people's money. <laughs> Just the people he didn't hate. <laughs> That's right. Uh, is no longer running in television still owns it i don't know i don't follow it too closely it was a big debacle it was all over the retro news um you can go look it up nothing came of it no console came out some prototypes came out then they switched to releasing half built games on mobile devices that were not completely finished and they're very high prices for those anyway the whole uh, the new console is called Amico, and that is not part of what they bought. Ah. They do not want to have anything to do with Amico because it is a dumpster fire. Um, it's also like the it's there's no value in it. It's not in television. Yeah, it, it, the value it in never television came out. is the games, the feelings, the and the, the whatevers. Yeah, yeah, the feelings. Yeah, yeah, the feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. That's For true. Sure, it's the feelings. Um, Atari, one of the world's most iconic consumer brands and interactive entertainment producers, announced today, yesterday, it per it has purchased the Intellivision brand and certain games, not all the games, from Intellivision Entertainment LLC. I'm guessing they did not buy any of the new games that were half finished. Uh, Intellivision Entertainment LLC will rebrand and continue its business of developing and distributing the Amico brand game console with a license from uh, Atari to continue to distribute new versions of the Intellivision games on the Amico console, which yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with that. They can't call it Intellivision. They'd have to call it just Amico or did, something. Did Intellivision know... Did Intellivision own all their games or was it yeah. like Atari where there were third-party companies that made games? There were third-party co companies that put games out on the Intellivision, including okay. Activision, Magic, uh, various other third, smaller third-party developers. Gotcha. Uh, Intellivision made their own games as mm -hmm. well. They had in in-house. Uh, so Atari brand. bought the Intellivision games, not yes. games for Intellivision. It depends on the licensing agreements. Uh, okay. Whether it's in perpetuity, like if it was in perpetuity, they could put out Donkey Kong, but I really doubt that. Like Nintendo would probably lock that down. But uh, we'll see. But I think it's mostly just. Just first party and television stuff. Uh, Atari will seek to expand digital and physical distribution of legacy in television games, to potentially create new games and explore brand and licensing opportunities as part of the long term plan to create value from the internal inter television properties. Uniting Atari and Intellivision after 45 years ends the longest running console war in history, <laughs> said Mike Mika, studio head of a digital eclipse and Atari owned game studio. Atari has been laying out scads of cash just so much money buying lots and lots of ip uh mostly retro themed ip in order to bolster their um properties yeah um which you know you got to do that to have properties to put out and game studios to make new things as well and they've been putting out uh reimaginings of games uh atari as long as well as consoles uh, they put out the Atari VCS, and I'm guessing in television games will be coming to the Atari VCS in short time, as well as reimaginings of their old games, which they there's a lot of great games that could be uh, reimagined. They, and what they could do to uh, 
what they could do to mm. keep it united as one thing, but um, give you the option as they could make an intelligent shaped Atari. Atari. <laughs> <laughs> That's a possibility. I, I'm not suggesting they will, but it's well, they could make it an INTV plus. Like they made a twenty six hundred plus, and but it could be the it could be the exact same interior from from the like it could just be a box, right? <laughs> yeah, and they, they were, and then people on the Atari Plus could play the Intellivision games or whatever, and same vice versa. That's a that's yeah. quite a possibility. Um, I I don't I know think, if there's any unless value. they have some sort of plan. I don't see there being any value in keeping them like separate hardware and no. software wise you know, I, like, and i think the atari vcs the is the merge point because they can run anything on that it's a computer yeah. Yeah. right um and there's some background blah 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 to a television uh this is a very rare uh opportunity to unite former competitors yeah we gave away a coaster last episode for our may giveaway uh, to unite former competitors and bring together fans of Atari and television and the golden age of gaming, said Wade Rosen, chairman and CEO of Atari. Purchase includes the rights to more than 200 titles from the Intellivision portfolio and the Intellivision trademarks. People are going, where's the, where, what 200 titles? They've been they're trying to figure out what the 200 titles are. Atari has been a valuable partner as we have every confidence they will be a responsible steward of the storied Intellivision brand, said Phil Adam. CEO of Intelligent Entertainment, we look forward to expand collaboration, bring prospect, bring a broad array of new titles to the Amico family gaming platform. I don't know what that's all about. To mark the occasion, a new Intellivision t-shirts are available starting today at Atari.com. Cashing in already. They, they didn't disclose how much they bought them for, which I don't know if that'll ever come out. Uh, uh, with more Intellivision apparel and collectibles to come, a press kit including the Atari Intelligent logos. Is that actually something they can keep secret? Uh, if they are a private company, yes. If they are a publicly traded company, maybe, but not usually, because they their shareholders are like, well, how much did you buy it for? What is it worth now? You better make that money back, because blah, 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 as shareholders do. Right? Uh, the 2600 uses an arm chip more powerful than was going in the Amico, so those updated INTV titles could run on it. That's good. Such hits as Batgammon, Las Vegas <laughs> Poker, and Blackjack. There, uh, that's what I, I went through the Intellivision list of games, and I excluded like the third-party titles, like the Magic. And... What was Pit Stop, or or was it or what, what was the was there, No, there was a racing game where your tires changed colors. You they no, got damaged. That, that was oh, I wonder. Because I, I remember playing that, and I thought it was in television. I didn't have either. I it was definitely was self. not in television. No. Uh, pit stop two. Yeah, pit stop, epics, Epic. So that's that's owned by a different. No, 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 no. This, this is way too high. I'm talking <laughs> about like. A, that's the Atari version. We played it on the C64. It did come out on the C64. That's the Atari version. But yeah, Atari, Atari twenty six hundred. No, eight bit. No, yeah, eight no, no. Bit. I'm talking about. It was definitely on a. The game I'm talking about was definitely on a console. Uh, Pit Stop 2 was on a lot of platforms. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure it was on... Let's see. Pit Stop 2 was Oh, it on, might have been ColecoVision. Uh, Commodore 64. TRS-80. It was on. No, I didn't play it on that. It was on that. Apple 2. It didn't. was not on a console. But Amazing it enough. said... Oh, oh, the previous it's, one, Pit Stop, was on the ColecoVision. ColecoVision. Episode. And yeah. it was probably ColecoVision. Yeah. I'm, I could easily mix those two up. Yeah, because they were the not Atari, <laughs> the, the not Atari. So, like, if you look uh, at Intellivision, and let's look at the game list, uh, just really quickly. I mean, what does this have to do with uh, homebrew? We'll get to that in a second, because <laughs> I mean, this is a homebrew channel, but this is this is big news, and it will affect homebrew, and I'll get to how it can affect homebrew. So they have a lot of generic things. Yeah. Auto racing, boxing, baseball, soccer, basketball, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 right? Tennis, all the sports games. Nobody's going to go, oh, you know, NAS NASL soccer. I can't wait for that to come to Atari. It's, yeah. it's a soccer game, unless it has something very specific. Yeah. Then AD there are, there's these. The AD&D games were awesome on huh. the Intellivision. But they are AD&D. They're owned by Wizards of the Coast now. Yeah. The and I I put this on the for Mattel Electronics, so I would imagine that Mattel Electronics. Well, the developer. Mattel, oh, I see. Publisher. Publisher is okay. in television. Gotcha. 
Um, but that's not the owner of the IP, okay, yeah. which is now Wizards of the Coast. But I put that on the Atari H forum saying, well, Wizards of Coast owns it. And um, somebody said, well, they could just unbrand it and just call it they, but they could also it could Mountain. also be that like if if Mattel if whoever made the game got the license to make the game if it's based on oh we're paying money to get the license to make yeah. this game with your name on it then why would that ever change it can be a very limited license it could be time based it can oh. also be uh, um, platform based as well you can put this on the original in television beyond that you have to renegotiate the license all right and, and it happens all the time. That's weird. It, that, it's weird that you would even need... It's like, it's literally... Like, it's like, we just tie it to this one game. This game is called this, and we're using <laughs> your name on this game. Yeah. Well, well, why do you need further parameters? Oh, but in five years, you must burn all copies of that game. It, <laughs> yeah, it must yeah. not exist again. It, okay. it totally happens, and it That's happened weird. with Tetris. They split off the, the console rights to Tetris... And the home computer rights to Tetris. And there was a big debacle about that. Is that and why the home computer ones always had different names? <laughs> <laughs> that could be, yeah. Um, yeah, why tons of movies never got released on anything newer than VHS. Um, like, we're doing a Mart Scorsese film festival right now. And there is a great movie... Uh, where it's about ambulance drivers. And I always forget the name of it. And it has not come out on Blu-ray. Um, there's no plans. You can't even... Can you, you can stream it, but it's only come out on DVD and it's very annoying. Um, Frogbog, that's a cool game, but it's like, who who owns these? Lock and Chase? See, that? Uh, that's an arcade game, which belongs to somebody else, Data East, even though it was on in television, but it also came out in the 2600. Uh, Night Stalker. There you go. That is an Intellivision game, so they can now make an updated version of Night Stalker um, for whatever console, you know, Sea Battle, uh, released by Mattel, maybe, yeah. B-52 Bomber, so that so you'd have to go through one by one, like Tron. They're not going to release Tron. Tron is a movie. Tron is like has updated. They care about Tron. Has movies out recently, right? But who made Tron? Uh, well, the movie. Like, is it... I think it's Disney. Disney okay. made Tron. Okay. So yeah. you'd have to go to uh, Disney and they'd be like, ah, <laughs> here's a price yeah, on yeah, this piece of makes... paper and you will definitely So Disney made it. the original Tron? Huh. Tron movie, yeah. Interesting. And they would license the name to these, these things. But what is um, copyrightable and trademarkable? Names are trademarkable. Copyright can be on music, uh, graphics but gameplay is not copyrightable yeah. so they can remake the game with the same <clears throat> gameplay um, but they'd have to change the graphics and the name right so there are ways around it if they wanted to remake some of these games and ch change the name slightly so it's like well that kind of Tran. it's Tran <laughs> Uh, Tryon, you, you, you <laughs> Tyron, <me>. Tyron, <laughs> yes, mix up the letters, or just put like a a, a double Trough. T. It's a it's a silent T. It's Tron, T -t Tron, <laughs> Tron, <laughs> many ends, Cron, Cron. on Coco, Cron. Uh, uh, Utopia uh, is an Intellivision game and is one of the first um, strategy video games on a console where you manage resources um so they could put that out and there's lots and lots and lots of games like there's star wars games they don't automatically get to release a new star wars empire strikes back game um etc etc so they have lots of lots and lots of games uh how many they said 200 um apparently nobody 132 titles so I wonder what these other, you know, 68 titles are from for the Intellivision. Very, very strange. But so it, I it, didn't know James Day Job was an attorney. Yeah, I, I'm very interested in copyright. And so I, I know that much about it. <laughs> Probably most of it wrong, but. <laughs> um, OK, so, yeah, so that happened. Um, that which makes you angry, you remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> copyright makes James very angry. Just uh, to make him more in, angry than yeah, he does now. <laughs> the extensive length of copyright makes me yeah. angry. So there's a poll that I just put up. Uh, Atari buying in television, but not Amico. Positive or negative, and why? Uh, one for positive, two for <laughs> negative, three for neither. Voice your opinion. So let's go to um, how this affects homebrew, because this we talk about homebrew here. Um, how does this affect the homebrew scene? Atari Age will be able to release homebrew games of IPs previously owned by Intellivision. So maybe some of the people who have already developed homebrew games for an Atari platform uh, will now be able to fully release it with the stamp of approval from Atari under the Atari Age banner or even Atari on the Atari VCS as well. So that's an advantage. Hey, no, no. <laughs> um, um, difficult IPs such as movies, Tron, or other IPs such as D&D could be renamed and possibly reskinned and could be released for Atari games as well. So there's less of an issue that way in terms of releasing a game that was on a television. I mean, it wouldn't have made much of a difference either way, but there's an easier path to releasing it. Any purged games affected? Now, I went through my brain and tried to figure out if there was any affected games. So it would have to be an Intellivision original game that was released through Atari Age, that was removed by Atari Age because of IP issues, that would be able to come back um, I, I I agree with Packrat. We'll wait and see how it pans out because three, true. three is insufficient because <laughs> it means it's neither. But it is one or the other, and there should be four. Too soon to say. Now Atari did buy M Network, um, but otherwise I'd licenses. Be three. So, one or three. <laughs> one or three. Yeah. Hopefully one, but you know currently. Uh. <laughs> Let's see, M Network. It doesn't list M Network on this list. Because can anybody think of games that were on the Intellivision that somebody ported that were owned by Intellivision? I can't off the top of my head think of any. Um, just looking quickly through this list. Ugh. Not any that I can see. Yeah, who owns an Imagic now? That is a good question. Uh, liquidated in 1986. Um, and... The rights to Imagic's most popular titles have been owned by Activision since the late 1980s. So, good luck with those. Oh, and Gamma Dev. Hi. You come down here, okay? So good luck getting Activision to sign off on that. Yeah, so I don't think that's going to happen without some big money. Or, um, you know, Activision just won't care. They'll be like, they won't even answer, probably. Good cat action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always some good cat action with some with Atari. Uh, okay, so non homebrew related Intellivision games will probably come to the Atari VCS console. Most likely it'll be uh, released in packs of whatever, five, ten at a time, maybe. Or a big chunk all at once. Um, and there's a possibility we might get an Intellivision Plus new console that would play Intellivision Homebrew, just like the Atari 2600 Plus. That would be a very big boon to the Intellivision Homebrew community, because they'll be able to pl plug in uh, Intellivision Homebrew games or a multi-card into a new console. Um, the only problem with that is the controllers are quite extensive. They have a lot of buttons mm. on the Intellivision controller. So how big the Intellivision scene is right now? Is there a clamoring for an Intellivision, a new Intellivision console? I don't know. But Atari has it in their mind that it is worth something, this roster of games, and they would already have it, like what they're going to do with it, mm -hmm. how much that is worth and would have offered less and how, to Intellivision. And how and it, often were those extra buttons used? I Somebody did that. Somebody uh, posted about that. Not very much. That's what I was thinking. It's like, 
It's like, think of all the times there's been any special, like, controller or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And how often, like, they just stick to the main, what most things have, you know, like. Yeah. Because you don't need to complicate it. Yeah. But like the Steam, it the Steam Deck has two buttons on the bottom, two yeah. extra buttons for your fingers. I, I don't. I don't right. play that many games, so maybe they get used in lots of things. But maybe and they're maybe they're actually they're probably selectable for you to self-program. Now that I think that's what I was just going to say. Yeah, is that the games that did use maybe a couple extra buttons on the keypad will just be reassignable. Yeah, uh, per game yeah. to extra buttons on the controller that they include. Yeah, yeah. Or any Bluetooth. Maybe you can hook up any Bluetooth controller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, or like Bluetooth keyboard or feral whatever. Chris, look what you did to yourself. You got yourself banned. That's an unfortunate. But now Microsoft owns Activision, so maybe <clears throat> they're looking to clean house of older IPs. Maybe it could be a possibility that our Atari will buy Activision, uh, active old Activision games for back in the day from the 80s and that'd be interesting yeah it was a spammer intelligent rocks had licensed a magic and activision titles last time activision was desperate for cash and was willing to license for such small potatoes so hey there's a possibility uh okay so that is uh let's say positive 64 percent and neither 35 so nobody thinks it has a negative yeah, I, I can't think of a reason other than we lost money on buying these. It would be a negative for Atari, a negative for uh, us. I don't, I don't see any negative. If anything, it's positive. Intellivision was just just floundering in the water, um, <laughs> running out of cash and uh, having a bad time. I think it's probably just a positive because yeah. like it just. It keeps Intellivision um, alive. Yep. And it keeps it alive by assuming that the, you know, like the Atari stays alive. Um, so far, so far they're putting out lots of stuff, put out a console. I mean, for a long time they were like not doing anything, you know, not, yeah, nothing they, significant. No, they were licensing their games and licensing their image out. Yeah. Afternoon ITC. So uh, next uh, news story. Uh, which relates to Atari 8-bit. Uh, Revive Machines have released their box design for the RM800XL. It's a, a, new cons a new computer to replace that exact one. Hmm. Um, it's usually when they make new computers, it's more expensive than buying an old one, but this is gonna have all the upgrades in it. So if you buy an old one and include the cost of upgrading it and include the cost of all the components that they would put in this new one, it's actually probably cheaper to buy this new version. Um, but it looks awesome. And um, so far they haven't shown it completely, like a big video of it completely working, but they have shown a video of it working. Um, FPGA based, I am guessing it is fpga based it's not going to be like old chips running is he looking to chew on that he's just showing that cable some love <laughs> i love oh, you our answer says cable. fpga why are computers redone in consoles only using emulation uh i don't know i mean you could look to the uh 8-bit guy if you want like a new computer using non-emulation yeah it is cheaper and easier um, because some of the work's already done people have you staring down the cat um so that's uh really really cool oh yeah let's add food unit to this thing that's for mm -hmm. sure okay uh next uh item is jag jam 2024 uh five months away if you are interested in programming jaguar games uh there are there is a jag jam coming up uh 200 euros prize money if you always wanted to do something on the Atari jaguar this is your chance to prove to the world that the infamous jag could be very entertaining and still alive in 2024 Anyone can join. No matter if you work alone or a small team, you'll just have to have an itch.io account. So let's show the Jaguar where you learn to fly. Uh, I mean, computers are not using emulation, right? Uh, well, 
they are, if you're using an emulator. No, but he's talking <laughs> about the Atari 800 being... An emulator. But th if the Atari 800, the new one coming out, is not an emulator, if it's hardware. Hardware emulation. Um, but is it hardware emulation, or is it hardware? It depends how you ter term it. Um, FPGA can be termed as hardware emulator, but it's really actually replicating yeah. the original hardware on a manipulative chip. But it's doing... If, if you emulate with hardware... Like, is that different? That is different than software emulation. Very different. And it's it's like, it's, I I would imagine people would think that that was a better type of emulation. Hundred percent. Then you get the actual output. It's unless as good there's as, some like, unless it's missing some flaws and, that and, the original has. And it can, and they do want to emulate the flaws because some games. But emulating the flaws. Well, some games work on those flaws. Yeah, yeah. Emulate. Like, it's it's only a flaw if. You didn't know that it did it before you made it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. After and it's anybody, just a fact. And anybody who's working on some of these machines know about the flaws. Like, they'd be very foolish. It's like the difference between an effect and a side effect in drugs is, well, which is the one that you're selling it based on? <laughs> that, there's no such thing as side effects. It's just all effects. It's like somebody <laughs> make, making an Atari 2600 emulator, but not emulating the undocumented opcodes. It's like, well... Those weren't part of the plan, but some people use them. And if you miss using them, the people that did use those undocumented opcodes, their games aren't going to work. Yeah. And our entrance says the 400, which is um, an Atari 400-800 emulator that came out somewhat recently, uses emulation, software emulation. Um, and software emulation can be quite good uh, because you can add in a ton of things that the original didn't have, like VBXE support that we're going to be using today. The original system did not have that. So having a hard, exact hardware emulation using FPGA would not have the VBXE video chip in it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, that's kind of a downfall. And how would you add that in? You would have to add that in through... Uh, how would you even do that? I well, I don't what, know. Uh, sorry, was it like a later hardware thing that was added to it? Yeah, I think it's about... So couldn't you just emulate that hardware too? Uh, yeah, yeah, but th that would mean somebody would have to do that. Yeah. And I don't think it's been done. It's been mm. done in software using Altera um, so people can develop, but I don't know if it's been hardware emulated in an FPGA yet. Um, so who's judging? Carl Farhand, uh, founder and CEO of Songbird Productions, who distributes Jaguar Games. Reese, a YouTuber, Control Alt Reese, and Boris Kretzinger, author of Clipped Claws, the Atari Jaguar Story. Great name for a book. Uh, okay, uh, let's see if I have any more news stories. No, it's time to move on to the games, which is why you're here. Hooray! Hooray, the game! So the first game we're going to be playing is Mikey. This is the final version, 2024. Uh, made by Vega, Miker, and Kaz. Uh, this build is from May 18th. Um, Vega also made Cyborg Warriors. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, this is an arcade game. So let's take a look at the arcade game. Let's just move back a bit. And start that up. Oh, might as well start it right from there. And I'll read a little bit about the arcade game. I could probably have the volume on here. I don't know how loud it's going to be. Come on. Kick into it. Kick into it. Okay. So this was a game released in Japan and North America under different names. And Mikey, known as uh, Shinyu Shane Torukun in Japan, is an arcade game developed by and released by Konami in 1984. The object of the game is to guide a student named Mikey around the school locations to collect hearts, which make up a letter from his girlfriend. Sounds like Popeye. 
Hmm. Um, while being chased by members of the school staff. In Japan, the game's setting was changed to an office in order to avoid controversy because <laughs> there was a rash of s student violence in Japan in the 80s, if you can imagine that. Um, many video games were changed to uh, avoid um, teenagers committing violence in video games. They're changed to usually... Uh, office workers, which is funny, because um, no office workers would ever do that. Uh, while the original version of the game was released internationally, Century distributed the game in North America. It was released in the arcade on Acorn Electron, uh, Amstrad CPC, BBC Micro, Commodore 64, MSX, SG-1000, and ZX Spectrum. And it licensed... Uh, I better mute this. Well, it's going to be in the game that we're playing anyway. It uh, has uh, Beatles music that was officially licensed in Japan. Wow. In the 80s. That's... Not in North America, though, Though I think. I think it was a little harder. Um, I think maybe the people... And who... what year did the game come out? 84. Yeah, so that was like after uh, the Beatles had no control over the music. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh <clears throat> Uh, the game starts in a classroom where Taro Mikey, yeah. you know, the bit of the history, watched a bunch of documentaries recent ishly on the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. Gets out of his seat for a player to begin the game. Mikey must bump the students out of their seats to collect the hearts they're sitting on while simultaneously avoiding the classroom teacher, as you can see there. Uh, Who is as big of a bully as he is, <laughs> only more uh, effective. He only had to hit you once. <laughs> That's right. Once all the hearts are collected by the players, you're allowed to leave the room and enter the school corridor, the school corridor. That's spam. Oh, it is spam. Can you click on his name and click the uh, crossed out circle? Uh, X? Hmm. Click on his name. Oh, okay. And then click on the crossed out circle on the bottom left. Gotcha. Thank you. School corridors where Mikey will be chased by the janitor and his classroom teacher who follows him outside. This is the way to gain access to the rest of the school building. Each room... Oh, I'm making sure the music's not too loud. Each room representing a different challenge of level. Mikey will be queued in the proper door to enter by large flashing in opening. Any other door will result in Mikey being punched by a coiled boxing glove or a hairy foot stunning him. On one of the doors, however, it contains a scantily clad girl. Opening this door is worth 5,000 points. Mikey can also <laughs> pick up extra points by picking up lunch boxes and opening a grate that contains a burger and a soda. Why is there always food in disgusting places in games? There's like food on the floor, food in walls, and this one's a food in a, a grate. In, a, in addition to headbutting, enemies, the janitor and classroom teacher, can also be stunned by slamming doors in their faces. Much like, um, damn it, the game with the mouse and the cats. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn it. Uh, uh, somebody will correct me. Beatles, not as big as Taylor Swift. <laughs> Beatles, only big in Japan. <laughs> Second room is a locker room, where the objective is to break lockers to get the hearts, while being pursued by a janitor, a cook, and the classroom teacher. So three enemies. In addition to headbutting, there are three bins of basketballs located around the room. Which might oh, I didn't know you could take out the teacher. <gasps> How did you do it? Headbutting. <laughs> oh, you have to do it three times. Uh, can the Mike... teacher has only got hit you once, I think. Yeah. Also, he's easily fooled by you sitting down. He's, he's, <laughs> he's dumb. He's he's not the brightest. This and he's playing on infinite. Like he's he's not he's can't be killed, which is no, no, he's long, knocked out all the which time. which long plays usually do. Ah. They just disable that. Room three is a cafeteria where Mike is pursued by two cooks and again the classroom teacher. We should fast forward so we can see some of these other scenes. There's the. There's cafeteria. Is that the cafeteria? These look like lockers. Um, uh, I think they're vending machines. Oh, could be. Yep. But they might be lockers. Room four is the dance studio. Avoid the dancing girls who stuns him. Final stage is the Mikey avoiding football players in the garden outside of school or guarding the hearts. So lots of different rooms. Here's the hallway. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we know a little bit about how to play this. We'll give it a go now. Uh, Phaser Cat Game. Adore this game so much. It's so surreal. Uh, so there you go. Let's power it up. 
Mm. Why does this look so weird? <laughs> Get it's ready. Warming up. Just, uh, warming up your, your butt shoving. My uh, <laughs> hip checks and my head butts. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, I see. That's a bit better. <laughs> okay, yep. Load that up. I think we're ready to go. Mikey. There we go. Final version 1.12. So make sure you download that one if you do want to download it. He's, uh, they've been doing updates. Okay. Why does that girl have hearts over her head? Oh, is that the girlfriend? Oh, I think that's the dance studio uh, level. There's okay. a football level. And there's the cafeteria. cafeteria. Main RAM, 64. Extended RAM, 1 meg. And there's a, System a, PAL. a secret Atari symbol. Oh, yeah. Oh, mixed oh, in oh, there. Oh. NTSC game is slower than PAL. We're playing on PAL. So press the fire button. This is an ATR, so it has to load. I had seen this game before. I had never played this. And I've definitely never seen it in the arcade. Has anybody seen this in the arcade before? Mikey's okay. He does it all for love. That's right. Loading. Mikey. Um, so, let's read a bit about the release here. So, there is a uh, Easter egg. Collect all the hearts while they're flashing to get a perfect bonus. Good luck to us. Look out for the hidden girl in the corridor closets for bonus points as well. So, we read about that. Um, high school high school graffiti version of this game is a different attack me method for Mikey. Instead of a headbutt, he attacks with a shorter range but a faster yell. His attack also has no effect on the classroom teacher in this version. This ROM is set is far more difficult to play than the others. The Japanese version also has different scenery and enemies. So there's different versions of this game. Uh, we can turn on and off the music uh, with the Q and the S if we want to. Get rid of the Beatles copyright music. It'll probably give me a strike, but I don't care because there's no money to be made on YouTube anyway. <laughs> okay. Let me adjust the volume here. Game control, start game, blah, blah, blah. Help Mikey get the message to his girlfriend. Join him in high jumps uh, at school and out... High jumps? High jinx, maybe. Hmm. At school and out with the teacher, uh, maniac j uh, janitor, and chef. Loads of fun and excitement in this game. Oh, they promise big. There's all the points. Get Plus a heart, 200 points. Open a door, 200 points. <laughs> Chicken? Ball touch? Ball touch. Hip zap? Ball touch. <laughs> uh, hip zap. Bonus hearts. Meet with Mandy. That's the person in the hallway. Oh. behind the door. You also get 2,000 points for each room completed mystery bonuses. So move the joystick to go to the next screen. Move Mikey through the school by collecting all the hearts. Uh, we we kind of went over this. Okay, we'll just see the screens. Move joystick to the next screen. Single hearts. Hip zap. Okay. Yep. Negotiate the hallway. Three lives to begin with. Constantly being harassed. You can stun by your pursuer by taking chickens or basketballs and touch them. You become stunned by kissing the dancing girls. Watch out for the teachers. If he gets really mad, he might throw his false teeth at you. That's what those teeth were in the loading screen. Mm. Uh, watch out for rugby players uh, throwing balls. Okay, next screen. And we're good. We're back to the first one. Okay, very nice loading screen. Hey, <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. There's the classroom. And you are in the bottom left. And the teacher's up there. Hip check. Okay, so you got one heart. And it goes up the top. Oh, watch out. Oh, you're not safe sitting down from the false teeth. Ooh, okay. So you want to get the flashing one for more, more points. Oh, it changed. Oh, well. It just, I knew that that was... All right, press button again. Hip check. Run back to your seat. False teeth are coming. Go away. Nobody likes you, teacher. 
It may not match because this song is so fast. Um, the lead off, uh, there was a post about the game on uh, AtariOnline.pl. This is the translated version. The lead author of this version of the game is Vega, which used the code from BBC Micro. So this is actually, um, actually ported from the BBC Micro. A little risky. Uh, sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> um, greatly improving and equipping it with much better graphics and music than the original. Uh, and he says, at the beginning, I would like to thank the people who contributed to this conversion of the game. And they are Kaz, graphics in the Atari version and testing, Miker, music and sound effects for the Atari version, Mono, invaluable help in solving uh, problems encountering during the game, testing, uh, Saberman, testing the game for uh, the presence of errors and suggestions, which could be improved. Jan Velasquez, next person testing the game, and also cool and uh, ideas for improvements in the game. Watch out for rugby players throwing balls is just good life advice in general. That's true, Phaser Cat Games. It's a pro tip. That teacher's relentless. He's just as fast as you. Almost as fast. He does get lost. Ah, teeth! Flying too close to the sun. Oh, are you going to read? <laughs> okay. Uh, without the help of these people, I would have much more I have 4,400 points. Uh, hey. Good luck getting that many points. Not zero. You get Drax. I'm not going <laughs> to type the whole thing. <laughs> uh, so many extra letters. Oh, my so God. I'm so tired. I wrote four and it was too many. Nice. Oh, my God. You got ninth place. That's good. <clears throat> <laughs> Go for first. Uh, the conversion of this game Mikey began to create it a long time ago. This actually started in 2011. Creation of this game. <gasps> got a flashing one. I know. So you get a bit of time before the teacher notices you are attacking the other students. Learning how to headbutt the teacher is essential. Oh. So you will have to headbutt the teacher at some point. No, you're going towards the teacher. I know I want to headbutt him. Oh. Oh, oh, you had your opportunity. Why aren't you headbutting him? Well, I failed to learn how. Oh. Oh, you're climbing. There you go. One more heart. Oh. Oh, the teacher gets distracted. Uh, I believe I, the joystick is broken. <laughs> it is crunchy. I've been noticing lately that joystick is crunchy. Oh, you start all over again. Oh, no. In the physics room. Essential life skills. Headbutting teachers. <laughs> Uh, from the momentum after the game Bomb Jack, its cartridge version Bob Jane was released. Initially, it's supposed to be the next conversion from the C64, but at some point, work stopped and eventually the project collapsed. Uh, after all, however, I decided to return to the work, but with a completely different approach, based on new experiences with the BBC Micro. I don't know how to headbutt. Hmm. That's Joyce Oh no, that's the that's the ring. Something in there. I will have to open that joystick. Okay, it's my turn? Yes. Okay. You only have one life left. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, something, something's weird. So you press up to get up. <clears throat> and down to sit down. Yeah. Okay. I, I uh... Oh. oh, too slow. I will start with all the lives. No nope. couch compliance. No, no. Rarely is. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, 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 hey. It doesn't let you enter nothing. <laughs> you have to put a name in. You must. Oh, it bumped you from ninth place. What? You bumped yourself. Oh, I must have gotten... <laughs> More than 4,400 points. I think so. Okay, up. Bump, bump. Button is bump. Down, sit down. Up, up, get up. Oh, it's so fast.
<laughs> no! Oh, he's so slow! Mm -hmm. I had no chance. I was in a bad spot. So when people raise their hand, does the teacher go to that person? No, it doesn't seem so. Go away. Go away. Go away. He doesn't. Oh my god. Oh. My experience is that he's uh he's not fooled by the fact that you're not currently hitting somebody. Oh you somebody. can nudge them back into their seat. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. I got a headbutt him. Oh, angles. One more to go. Oh, he's going to throw his teeth, isn't he? Get out of here. <gasps> no, no. Da, da, da. Okay. Now you got to get out. Okay, go. 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 There you go. Yeah. Look out. That looks like a... Now I do Is have to... Is that a janitor, maybe? Yeah, it's a janitor. Oh, my God. Now I do have to know how to headbutt, because these guys are going to come after me. So do I just touch it? Do I have to get the flashing one? No. It's just that you don't know how to headbutt. Same as I didn't know how. Is it another button? No, it's only one button. Atari 8-bit, unless you have a special connector. Do I open? What? What is happening? Maybe hold the button and push forward? Oh, maybe. Headbutt is a headbutt headbutt is a button in the arcade game. Okay. Yeah, we only have one and one button, one lonely button. Hold for... the button and push forward. And push the direction you want to headbutt, maybe. Okay. I mean, it looks like he's constantly Damn trying it. to have fun. It does. No. no. Oh, no! <sighs> Can I get something out of these things? Well, it, I, I would imagine it takes the same amount of... Mm. You can't pass the screen if you can't headbutt. <laughs> oh, yeah, no kidding. But I can't even pick up the hearts. And I swear it was it's gonna change. Uh, Splendid Nut says it looks like you had butted that vending machine. It does look like that, but I don't think I did. I'm just moving down and up while holding the button. Oh look! It's cracked. Oh, oh you do have to move down and up. That is headbutting. Oh, okay. You have to headbutt the hearts out of the container. So. Uh, Okay, no, we got it now. We got it now. Practice headbutting the teacher. Don't even try to get hearts. Yes, that's a good idea because I think it's going to be very hard on that <laughs> level without knowing how to headbutt. <laughs> Maybe they can get the base in the <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, let's do this. Let's headbutt that teacher. Okay, up. Come here, teacher. And I think you just do this. Like back and forth, like in this, the other screen. Mm -hmm. Because there is no, like, you don't see a headbutt. It's gonna be hard. As soon as he touches me, it's over. Like, like you don't see a headbutt. Do I have to do it vertically only? Hmm, maybe. He's barely even touching me. Like, the hitbox is huge for the teacher. From the side. In the arcade game. The arcade That's game. what I thought. Maybe I do it from the top? No, what I meant is I, I recalled the arcade being like a... Actual From action. the side. Oh, it right. was, and, well... Uh, Phaser Cat said that it is a button in the arcade game. Headbutting? Automatic Peggy thir Peggy 18. <laughs> Very violent. Uh, I, I can't headbutt. Do you want to uh, do research? I kind of do want to do research. 
And the other button doesn't work because... Because it's only wired for one. Yeah. I mean, that's not weird. Like, I, I yeah. two-button joystick wasn't a thing that any of my joysticks had. <laughs> <laughs> no. This, I mean, this is wired Even for Even, like, like, Commodore didn't have two buttons. You know? No. Not oh, even when uh, it's... Space bar? Oh, right. God, I hope not. Okay, go press the space bar. I'm gonna, yeah. This is the quickest research. But I have, uh... Go press the space bar, quick. Quick. Space bar is pause. Press H. Headbutt! No. In the instructions, it does not have a headbutt. Hmm... I'm going to oh. read through more information. Some games require you to use a keyboard as the second button after all the 8-bit games. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're going to move away from the game for a second. That's okay. And we're going to do a little bit of research and look up Atari, Mikey, and there have been some gameplays of this on other channels. Let me just fast forward it. Okay, here we go. And... Let's see if anybody does a headbutt. Because that, that butt, whatever it is called, butt zap, is only next to a person in a chair. Mm -hmm. Let's fast forward through this. Come on, get close to the teacher. Oh, success. They're already out. Avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. Okay. I think that's just uh, just holding the button. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just holding the button there. Maybe there is no headbutt. Maybe they've made it easier slash harder. Oh, you know what? This is based on the BBC micro version. So if you look up instructions for the, you missed it, the BBC micro version. Oh, you can get basketball or whatever that was. You missed a heart. Dude, go back. It's in there. It was a, it was throwing the uh, basket. Oh, yeah. So you go over there, you, you pick up the garbage can and then. There, and I've got it. Okay. Go to the next one. Just pick up the hearts on the floor. It's forward. Yeah, you pick up things to throw. I don't think there is a head button in this game because of the one button limitation. They definitely wouldn't have allowed a head button in the BBC Micro game. Maybe that's why. So you have to avoid. Okay, we're going to switch back. Um, actually, I'm going to look up BBC Micro Instructions just quickly. BBC Micro Mikey Manual. Uh -huh. Good luck. There's a BBC Micro Review. Oh, oh, found it. Okay. Mikey, play, download, explore disk. Damn it! Download, Mikey. There's no instructions. Oh, oh, I found it. Excellent. Loading the game. Uh, nothing there. Controls. Hip zap. Unlock doors, throw objects, shout, take objects. Shift. Okay. Well, we'll try that. Uh, I don't. It, it was not in. Was not Kissing in the manual. Kissing is automatic. K 
kissing's automatic. <laughs> so let's say that. You can stun your pursuer. By taking chickens or basketballs. Yeah. And throwing mm. them in the appropriate screens. So maybe there is nothing. But we'll try the shift. Okay, go back to it. It did seem a lot more doable watching the other person play it in that yeah. one room where it seemed like you just have to like. I, I was be I was able to get to the hearts. I couldn't. I can't say what the AI, what the rules of the AI are. No shift. No, no. I don't think. I don't think there is. I think it's just been. Adapted for this game. Oh my god, you're too close. Oh! Uh, ah, ah! Stuck on a desk! <laughs> Damn it. One of those games you have to start the whole screen over when you die. It's not... It's, it doesn't take that long to get the... Uh, get the hearts. It's just the teacher. Far away. Of course, it's that door. Can I go up here? Don't come up! Don't come up! Hey! <laughs> okay. Run! Run to the end! Run! And you can grab the basket. Oh yes, I will do that. Um, oh. Oh, it. Yep, it's just the button, but you have to be facing it. Uh, he wasn't facing it. Really? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. Hmm. Wait. Ah! Maybe it was that his hair was on one side of the other. I don't know. I'm gonna pick up something. He's trying to pick up the. You have to face it. This. Or sideways. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I actually threw it. Ah! There you go. Ah, stop. Get, get, get. Get ah! Gonna have to get some get some offense. You have to do it from yep. Do it from below. Mm -hmm. Now they're nowhere near. Okay. Here, here, here. Okay. Do it sideways. Damn it! No! No! Run! Turn! Yes. Go the other way. No. Okay, so if I approach it from the side, ah, that's not who I wanted. And they're both coming for me. Okay, they get tied up for a decent amount of time. Oh, make a break for it! Run! <laughs> With the basketball. No, you dropped it. Go, 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 go! go. go, go. Ah. Okay, this one you just run over the hearts. Oh, you grab a chicken. Come on, grab a chicken. There you go. Infinite chicken. Infinite chickens! Well, there's one on the desk. Uh, it's a book. Desk. Is it? it, it's, it, it's, it, the it chicken. might be the chicken! It might be something that you pick up. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one's only vertically you can throw the chicken. It's oh, weird. Yeah, the one on the book is one you have to pick up. Oh, okay. And you got to get it from beneath. Unless I am much mistaken. Yep. You have to press it. You have to break the book. You gotta break the ah, book. Ah! Run! No! Book breaker. You read the chat. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. This one is uh, going in between. Is it 3D? Yes, it is. Good. 
Yeah, Corey worked on um, Bully. Yes, he did. Let me get him on the show one of these days. He's a very busy dude. You're not going to kiss any of the girls? Uh, no. I do not want to. That's Ew, girls, death. gross! Ugh, cooties! Cooties. Super gross. Ooh, should I get this one? Ah, no, I shouldn't! Run! Run button, button for faster running! I feel oh, like... Oh, I missed it! Damn it! I feel like, uh... I don't know if you're moving slower. In this level? It feels like you're moving slower. I think I am moving a little bit slower, but so I think it's he. because of all the uh, dancing girls moving, maybe. Yeah. It's too much action. Does 8-bit work the same as regular Atari, like, in the timing? Or that's, that's not how it was it, done, right? It, it depends on how you make the game. Um, like, the Atari 2600 draws a screen... You tell it when to draw the screen, essentially, kind of, but you all, it is drawing at, let's say, NTSC, 60 frames a second. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. You wanted them to go down. I kind of do. Oh, no, uh, no! Now I've done it all over again! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Ladies. Ladies, please. Why are you so kiss crazy? Oh, my God. Hurry up. Well, it's not that long, but I'm long enough if he's right beside you. In hot pursuit. He's in hot pursuit. Hot pursuit. Okay. Oh god. It's funny how many ladies you kiss this time. Because uh, 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 I'm not being as careful. Because I know it's not a death sentence. <laughs> it is now. Oh uh, no! I have no defenses or offenses. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I I think it's because you're in the room where people are dancing, but it looks like. It looks like this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that or they're doing that? You. Uh, no, I'm, they look like they're dancing. And when I, you go forward, it looks like you're like... I am coordinated with them. Maybe I'm getting uh, getting into the groove with them. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this music pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I can dig it. Okay. Oh, this joystick. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nope. Okay. Oh, brutal. Okay, let's go in between. No! Run! Oh, no, I got to... Is it one life? Oh, my God. Matoko says uh, diagonal so the, seems to be the way to get away from teachers. Because they don't move on diagonals. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, I gotta open this up. It's super crunchy now. Yeah. I wonder if maybe you should stop using it until you've done that, and maybe <laughs> use the other one that you have that is otherwise identical. Uh, this one has a uh, connection issue. Uh oh. I need to contact the manufacturer of these joysticks soon. Yeah, you, you, you... This one's much smoother. I will defeat this game. The whole thing? Yeah, I made it pretty far. Oh. I need to get to sit down for these ones. I made it to the fourth level? And how many levels are there? Five? Oh, okay. Uh six. Uh still there's um there's outside? No. Five levels, I think. Nope, nope. Ah. Okay, we're going somewhere else. How many dentures does this guy have? None, no. <gasps> no. The chaos of the... Uh, I am sometimes... Like, the, is the teacher ever coming at you because you're there? Looked like it was or just then. Or is it then. just... <laughs> Uh, he does seem to be going at me when I'm walking around. Oh, god damn it. Uh, he has predictable pattern, but not predictable when he's going to go down. Oh my god. Uh, one less alive. His vision now. is based on movement. 
Uh, Yamada's <laughs> vision is based on movement. So if you're not moving, you can't see you. You're not doing it right. There we go. No, I'm not doing it right. Uh, that's from Predator, right? <laughs> Isn't that from the movie Predator? Uh, no, because it's not based on movement. It's based on uh, heat. What movie is that from? Uh, it's based on reality. <laughs> True. Like, like with cats. With any creature that uses eyes to see, <laughs> they see movement. So much cats. Easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And others. The enemies in this level aren't as bad. I think because there's three of them, they're like, eh, one, of, one of them will get you. They seem a lot more random than um, maybe the teachers in Hot Pursuit. He does have that pause thing where he gets gets winded. But he doesn't go straight for you all the time. Run angles, memory diagonals. Use your diagonals. If you can. Is that a basket? Okay. Ah. Uh, go down. Go up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, one life left. He's a crazy God. janitor. That janitor, crazy. I'll give, crazy. I'll give it one more go. Be crazy, buddy. One Be more crazy. go. One more go. Then we'll move on. Why's that janitor so crazy? Jurassic Park. There we go. Oh, I got second place on one of my games. Don't know which one. But also, I can tell you, as someone who has bunnies that live in the wild of wild my bunnies. front yard. I keep my bunnies outdoors. They're outdoor <laughs> bunnies. And uh, they are sometimes near invisible, but then when they move, you see them. The brown bunnies? Yeah. yeah they blend in nicely. That would be very hard to get all the flashing lights. Yeah, they don't stay flashing very long. No. So you move real fast there for a second. Yeah. So the heart dictates which door it's going to go to. Oh, the opposite of where you are. Not last time, amazingly. If I stay in the middle. Oh, I found the secret. Oh my god. To the janitor is you stay in the middle. You don't go all the way down. Because oh. if you go all the way down, it triggers him to go all the way down. Ah. At least in that instance. I should get one. Can. I was wondering if it would let you get hearts while you had a... Yeah. Well, is this only up and down? No. no, it's only side to side on this map. Side to side. Or you can do it either way and it's just hard to, to aim. But oh. on the other map you were only able to do it. You were able to do it down. Yeah, this one is side to side. Oh, Mr. Wigglebutt. Oh, yeah. Man! Yeah. Oh, he's not happy. No, don't. Don't make me get what I'm after. Don't. I want it <laughs> on my own it, terms. On my own terms, and I, I like it, but not that much. Yeah, he just walked right by me. If you stay in the middle. All oh right. So we got. Oh God. No. Ugh. Too many chefs. Too How many to survive cooks. high school? Stay in your lane. That's right. That's Gamma Dev. You know it. You know it, brother. And or sister and or cat. Cat. Meow. Morale. Okay. Okay. I gotta get a chicken. Chicken, chicken time. Hey, chickens you throw up apparently. No. Ah! It's not working this time. Could be this joystick. What is the problem with this chicken? You only have one heart to get. Maybe try to do it in a non brute force way. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, it automatically did it. That's why. Oh. When he got close. That's kind of good. It's kind of like a shield. 
It's like kissing, it's automatic. What the? Yeah. Run, run away. Don't let that cook get his chicken back. Nope. So they never move in diagonals? Uh, I can't say never. All I can say is, uh... Dance time. Dance off! La Bamba. Now there's no offensive weapon here. Oh my god! Stop it! He does not get... He does get winded, though. But... <gasps> I missed it. Ah! Just run. 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 Run, run, run. <gasps> no, uh, no, 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 no! It's at the... Uh, diagonal, so the way. It is true. And the pole has closed. The pole is closed. This one's a little bit harder to do diagonals because there's dancers everywhere. But um, I'm going to utilize the diagonals when I can. Oh god, one more. Okay. Which way is it going? To the top right? Oh, I think I can do it. He's far away. Stay to the right wall. Janitor. Oh, I did it! Is this the locker room? It's the outside. Okay, where are they? Oh my god, they're tossing basketballs oh, and this me is, immediately. You're obviously in the last one because I recall them saying that it was in the last one. You have to run out for look out for rugby balls. Ah, uh, okay. It's gonna be tough uh, which when look they're like close. basketballs. Yeah. I think they're just basketball, they basketball players, but they've uh, they got helmets because of how bad a shot everyone is. They're always throwing them at others <laughs> and whatnot. The irony, or perhaps oh this is just how it is, is that you run away from them and then you end up where they are because they're following you. Yes. They are definitely following me. I don't know if they are or if it's that <gasps> they cause you to go in the direction. They seem to be following you now. They are very... And they pass through each other, too, which... Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. They follow me exactly. I can't go up. Okay, come on down. Oh, don't come down. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, my God. Stop it! Okay, come down. Yes, Okay, there perfect. you go. There you go. Woo! Woo! Make a break for it. Don't throw a basketball at the last second and take me out in the head. Don't do it. Oh, I knew you would. But... I have conquered my key! Champion! <laughs> my hero, congratulations! You have finally reached your girlfriend, Mandy. Good job. Now you can rest together outside the school. No one will disturb you. <gasps> yeah, While you rest. We're just resting. Nothing more. Filth. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, round two. Now it should be much harder. Oops. I was just collecting the... Come on. Yeah, my button's not working. This, this, See, the problem with this joystick is the button sometimes stops. I'll have to sit down. It's playing so many of the other levels. What does it say on the board? Failure teaches success. <laughs> A good lesson to learn. Can't get me. You can, but not That's with your current strategy. Only with your teeth. <laughs> Don't throw your teeth. Uh. Oh, God. <gasps> it's random, and you can't do anything about it. The best you can do is wait for him to go and then pass him in the opposite direction. It's oh, game over. That is so hard. That's the hardest part of the game because it's so random and you have that much room. I will enter my score, 40,200. 
Da, da, da. Okay. We're going to move on to the second game. Only this second is... place, though. What? Nothing. Was that second place? The first place has a big score, though. Mm -hmm. um, Only uh, 3,700 oh, more than you. Okay, so could it played a bit more. I could have done it. Uh, good game. Yep. Uh, I think it translates very well. They're missing the headbutts, but I think they work around it by making it easier, maybe. It's hard I wonder to why know. they skip the headbutts. Because there's only one button, and they don't yeah, actually use the joystick, maybe. But the button, when you're kicking people out of their seat, you have to be beside them, so the button yes. could just switch to that then. 100%. Yeah. Like, it does nothing I'm sure that there's that. some reason, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this next game... We're going to be using the trackball, which is not very often used. So I'm very excited. So let's plug in this trackball. She's warming it up. Okay. So everybody knows Missile Command, so we don't really need to see uh, arcade action with Missile Command. Shift Zex? Uh, nope. One second. It is definitely not. I was not looking. Uh, no, what happened is that I... Just a sec. Just a sec. Hold on. Don't... Okay, there. Go. You should be able to press the button, too. No. It's not the there. other one? I tried both. Oh, okay. Missile Command Arcade. So this is by Hush It. Hush It. Hush it's It. not doing anything. Hush It. Hush it's making what? noise. I know, but it's not controlling the screen. <laughs> Isn't that a problem? No, it's not. Hush All It. Right. Robert Antrowitz, uh, Eric Antrowitz, and John Weisgerber. Hush It. <laughs> <laughs> this is first posted April 23rd, 2024. It's a 17K XEX. They also made Alien Assault 2021, 2121, Kooky Diver 2021, and a ton of other games. Too many to mention. Um, so let's put it on one player. Uh, game level arcade, sure. Change it to trackball. Six cities. Yes, yes, yes. Let's start it up. Missile command. Very nice. And it's got um, the. Uh, and this is using VBXE, which is an add on video card, an advanced video card you can get for your Atari 8 bit system, which I do have. Now, this was programmed for NTSC, but it does work in PAL as well, because we're working on a PAL system here. Good job! Hooray! Missile Command Arcade is another new game utilizing VBXE. Missile Command Arcade uses disassembled code from the arcade version of Missile Command. So this is from the arcade. It is arcade perfect, maybe? Um, but the uh, developers are in the chat, so they can chime in on that if they uh, alter the code much more than um, maybe graphics. The graphics look so good. What does low mean? Oh, low in ammo. Yeah, because you only get a certain amount of ammo from each of those three missile silos. You can see it down below. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does look like the arcade version because the code was used from the arcade version, which is awesome. This allows for a near arcade perfect experience on your Atari 8 bit computer. Since uh -oh. the internal timing is. I think I lost some ammo. Oh, uh, blues blew up. Yeah, blew up your uh, ammo dump. Oh, uh, well, it's empty ammo. Yeah, don't bother defending cities or ammo dumps that are already blown up, blown up unless you have lots of time. Uh, since the internal timing for the arcade version of Missile Command is 60 hertz, this run best for NTSC systems. Ah, that I see why they made it for NTSC. It will run slower on PAL, including sound effects and trackball response. I do not have a VBXE for my 800XL, so I only tested this at Altera. Uh, if somebody with a VBXE, NTSC, Atari, and trackball would like to help with testing, please DM me. <laughs> I don't know if Did I you got get it? it? I don't know. Kind of went off the screen. 
You can change the default settings in the menu screen using select button or choose which option to change and use the option button. Choose which next option you'd like to use. Note that if you use a trackball, you need to use a trackball or else movements will be unpredictable. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh boy. It's a quarter That's eating annihilation. level. That's annihilation. Quarter eating level you have achieved. Oh, you have oh, no missiles. <laughs> it's all right. It only destroyed a city that was already dead. It killed nothing but... Uh, Mut mutants. Oh, if you use the keyboard Z, X, C, key, select the base. Mm. Oh. Um, you could use the fire button or on a joystick or trackball. So this does support a joystick. If you don't have a trackball, you should get a trackball. They're awesome. There's a bunch of amazing 2600 hacked games um, by, uh, I think, some of them are Thomas Yench or all of them are Thomas Yench. It sounds um, like I got a great score. I don't know what... Uh... Can you put your name in? Oh. There you go. Um, and so the write-up says, after following the amazing VBXE Popeye port by Wodge, I was inspired to try the port of the actual arcade disassembly of my great of my favorite game growing up, Missile Command. Missile Command came out in the arcades in 1980, just before my brother and I received our first uh, Atari 400 computer. Play it one more time. Then I will play. Got to read a bit. Uh, most days after school, would we walk home to stop by the local arcade. Missile Command is a difficult game, but two 30-something players were far better than everybody else. While most people were struggling to get 100,000 points, Larry and Bob would play doubles and regularly score between 300 and 500,000 points. One day, Larry had an amazing game going and had everybody in the arcade watching. He was nursing a single city until he reached 810,000. Then all of a sudden, he had seemingly unlimited cities. None of us had heard of this bug before, but it eventually became known that if you reached over 810,000, you could effectively play forever. Well, Robert was became a great at Galaxy and John concentrated on Battlezone, I practiced Missile Command every day and soon became able to achieve 810,000 points. I could do this regularly, and once I played long enough to score 6 million points and then walked away while I was still playing. Of course, Missile Command was one of the first Atari cartridges that my brother and I bought with our paper route earnings. The original developers did a good job, but definitely the graphics were lacking. Uh, Paul did an amazing job modifying the original code in the Missile Command Plus to add three bases, a title screen, a demo track mode, and the end. I used this assembly for help with the trackball code. When Missile Command Arcade source code appeared on the internet a few years ago, I looked into seeing if I could get it running in the Atari 8-bit. In fact, the resolution was 256 by 231 in eight colors, was one stumbling block. The other was that the code used some PDP-10 assembler, PDP assembler with a lot of macros, so I didn't even bother trying to get started. I looked at it again after seeing the Popeye port done in VBXE. I knew at least I could get the graphics running in VBXE. Then I stumbled on Andy McFadden's amazing disassembly and detailed description of how the actual arcade hardware worked. The assembly language that was used was very similar to the MADS assembler that I used uh, in the perfect WUDSN development environment from J JAC. So I first got the code to compile the binary perfect to the arcade ROMs. From there, I took a quick crash course in VBXE programming. Of course, none of this would be possible without Ferron's amazing Altera emulator and debugging environment. I don't even have a VBXE, but Altera provided a perfect test environment. And it seems to be playing perfectly. I'm doing better now on this difficult level. Oh! Oh, no! That's okay. Get them all back. Still got four cities. Kicking ass. Uh, e. Ashwood says, you might want to try an easier skill level. Not the arcade perfect mode. It'll make a much easier progress through the screen colors. Oh, dodged it! Oh my god! We'll play an easier one, uh, the next one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, down to two. But I think you made it. Oh, one more to go. Nice! Good shooting, Tex. I think you get one. Oh, you don't get another city back. This looks so good. It's like the ultimate missile command. Oh, nope. you're out. Oh, no. It's game over, man. It's game over. Game over. Smart bombs. They are smart. Uh, finally, special shout out to VBXE's developer, Tomash. 
uh, Pyrek, Candelosin, and just oh, I'm almost done. And Distributor Lotharek. Oh, you can put your name in. I'm probably only using 10% of the capabilities <laughs> of this amazing daughter board. I hope that Missile Command RK will inspire no, more developers to go program. back. Oh, there might be a back. It'd be after Zed. Go past Zed. Past? Oh, no. Nothing past Zed. Oh no, you're DS I'm from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine telling 16 year old me playing Missile Command at the arcade that, and then going home to play it on my Atari 400 that one day I would be porting the actual arcade source code to run an Atari 8-bit computer. I wouldn't have believed it. I'm glad that it all worked out. So let's go back to uh, the options screen, if I can. Oh no, how do I get help? No. <laughs> Escape? Do I have to die? Oh no, how do I get back? Let's just blow it all up. Let them blow up. Blow me up. Reset. 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 Not in my not in my system. Well, technically it does. <laughs> okay. Um uh, Private Captain. Colonel Arcade. We'll do private. Uh, track ball. And we will start with that. Watch that cat. He's thinking about it. Give him a little nudge. No. <laughs> it just looks like, just stares at you. Come on, up here. Ah, oh, no, it's split. Trackball works great. It does, yeah, it's amazing. Boom! What's Atari doing? He's trying to chew, as he has done successfully four times before, right through the power cord of the laptop. And he has cost us now 60 times four um, in uh, laptop chargers. And they are not cheap laptop chargers. Very annoying, Atari. Well, that's why you said 60, right? Yes. Yeah. You don't need to say they're not cheap. You already said 60. They're not we cheap. know they're not cheap. They're not cheap. <laughs> and they're 60. Especially four of them. <laughs> no. Here. Up on the couch. Oh, I know. Do I, I can't. hold you like this? I can't chew. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. 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 I'm, I'm going down. too far. Let I'm him going down. too far. Let him I'm down. going too far. Let him okay, down. Okay, buddy. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the bad one. You're right. I'm the bad one. He's like, you don't do that. Oh, look at that face now. Yeah. Make friends. They're friends yeah, again. We're okay. Yeah. I'm the bad one, but, but we're still okay. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, temporary. I didn't sit on you. You would sit on someone <laughs> if you were like, <laughs> you know, feeling it. Oh, yeah. Bubba. Oh, another wave. No, oh, that was bad. There we go. That's what got me. At one point, I was like, oh, there's more. It's much easier on private, that's for sure. Oh, he's dodging my bullets. Try to dodge that. Oh, uh, he okay. did. Yeah, now you can't. Ah, no. No! My city! It, it's, Seattle. it's frustrating <laughs> slash uh, awesome that like the missiles reach a point where you can't do anything about them. Yes. They're below you just, your target. You just, you have, just to have to watch. watch it. But they're not there yet. <laughs> yeah, your city hasn't been destroyed yet, but it is definitely going to be destroyed. It's on its way. Oh no, it's split up. No, it's split again. 
Oh, where'd that one come from? From the the, the from plane? the plane, yeah, yeah. Oh that's the God. point. Those things drop. Well, that's not good. Yeah, they're not just like watching the destruction. <laughs> they're they're participating in the yeah. destruction. I've known a number of cats. My um, sister-in-law's cat chews cables, or chewed their their previous cat chewed cables, and not just cables, power cables. Ah, uh, Fuzz used to uh, chew on telephone handset cables back when that was a thing. Uh. I would have several on hand because <laughs> otherwise the phone might ring and I'd go, Whoop, and it was just like that. <laughs> At least that was cheap. I mean, I, I didn't just have them. I also tried to keep them away from them. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not. Like, yeah, you're in like, stupid. oh, go ahead. Choo, choo, choo. Yum, yums. Oh, you bastard. I'm impressed with the... Uh, well, the smart missiles are Pretty surprising smart. in that they can fly up. <laughs> that's yeah. the direction that that you don't expect. Oh, oh but oh, that's out that's anyway, okay. So. Oh, I only had two left. I think I'm hitting too many times. Can you read some stuff out from the chat? The developer is saying some things, please. One made arcade missile command, the perfect target for porting over to Atari 8 bit is that the arcade machine mm -hmm. used. 6502 CPU and a pokey audio chip. Oh, really? DBXC oh, wow. supports the res resolution needed for an exact pixel to pixel mapping from the arcade graphics to DBXC. So everything was kind of set up before. Oh, I'm out. Don't hit my cities, please. No. Oh, it speeds up too. <gasps> Left me with three cities. So nice of them. Yeah, so that was very, very lucky. Uses the same CPU, same audio chip, and the resolution matched well with the VBXE. Well, these smart bombs are the death of me. No! Oh my god, they're so smart now. Oh, I'm out! Oh no! Oh, god, bonus city. Seems like the smart bomb didn't land because the ground ended before. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no, this is it. Game over, man. Fire them all before they get... Yeah. <laughs> it's funny you used all your bombs to uh, take out the... Oh, my cities. The thing that was going <laughs> to take out your bombs. <laughs> you get points for that, though, I'm sure. First thing Eric got going were the audio sound effects straight from the arcade. Nice. This is so good. Yeah. Like, if you like Missile Command, this is the ultimate version. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Like, it looks, and sounds... The, the, the and the trackball works. You have the trackball yeah. from and the it, arcade. And it feels like... It feel, it's not like a cheap... It doesn't feel like a cheap trackball version. Maybe it yep. is, but it feels good. It's, it's yeah. a pretty good trackball. Mine, yeah, yeah. mine needs it a has little, momentum. Little, little bit of maintenance because it's a, it got a, a little bit of... Um, but what I mean is it has momentum. Down. Yeah, it keeps like, going. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to play it again but on arcade mode. Just to feel the pain that Darcy felt. Ha ah. <laughs> I think it defaults to that. I'm gonna let the um, the demo go because if this is a perfect arcade port, it has all the attract mode as well. Defend cities. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's funny that the demo almost doesn't seem like it's trackball moving. It's yeah, it's perfect. It's like yeah, that's weird. Like it's moving slower than you would move. It, it has no acceleration. Oh, there it is going slow there. Mm -hmm. But mostly it's going... Eh, 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 eh. What is that thing in the screen? I don't know. <laughs> it was a count. Okay. Always with arcade games, the first level or two is like, oh, it's an easy game. You're, you're an expert. You're so good at this game. 
And then it goes, wow, ramp up on level three. It's like, I'll take that quarter, thanks. <laughs> Please insert another. One neat thing was getting intimately familiar with the arcade, actual arcade source code. Yeah. So did you find out what the bug was in at the 810,000 if you had access to the um, source code? Was it an unintentional bug and what caused it? I'm sure it's an unintentional bug. Or did they just, was it a Pac-Man thing? Like level 256 on Pac-Man? It's like, we don't think anybody will get this high of a level. So we're not even gonna bother uh, um, looking through and fixing a bug that it's Ooh, so it's high. On that track ball. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe not on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something. I do need to take it apart and, oh, this is where I die. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, I have a chance. No, I don't. <laughs> I think I've spent all my, ah, oh. One city gone, I actually survived that. If you want to see the end screen, you'll have to get less than the lowest score on the high score. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll do that next one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. My missiles. No! Actually, I thought it was a game over there. <laughs> it is getting very hard. How did you get three million on this game? Or 810, after that it's infinite. Probably once you get... Um, Probably with a better rollerball. Once you oh. get good enough to get... Yeah, you're just instinctively like, it's those smart bombs. I think I don't know how to deal with them. That's so fast, I'm out. I'm also wrong, because I've got three cities. We will rebuild, bigger, stronger, faster. Yeah, the smart bombs are moving so fast, faster than you... How do you do that? You must have to wait till they're at the bottom. Uh, no, because it <laughs> um, explodes. It it moves after you've shot. Right. And so if you shoot where... It, it, sorry, it, it I think it moves after your bomb arrives. Explodes, so if yeah. you throw it where it lands right in front of it, it doesn't... Because I've seen you target really good in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still hard at this speed. It's pretty well documented, understood bug now. It was fixed by Rev3 Missile Command arcade ROMs, but it purpose I purposely used the Rev2 ROMs to include the bug, which is the most common version of the game. Oh, okay. Smart bombs, you need to give them a no way out. Oh, below and above. Okay, so it spreads out like that. Okay, yep. So let's do the less than the lowest score on the high score screen. I'm just going to put side, side, side. Or is that a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lowest is 7,005. I'm just going to play really, really, really badly. Like, not at all. <laughs> or I'll just make a huge explosion right here. That's too far. There you go. around the explosions wrap around yep you survive the first onslaught even if you do nothing so if i shoot over here wraps around to that other side does that do it in the arcade i'm, I'm guessing oh wraps out so. in the he answered before i even asked it it wraps around in the actual arcade too okay so that's going to be gone that one looks like it's going to get that one and that looks like it's going to get that one perfect 300 points. How did I get 300 points? By having three cities alive. Oh. <laughs> you get 100 points per city. Uh-oh. Whoa. Nice. Did you have any trouble... Because um, this is this was originally a vector game. Did you have any trouble translating... Oh. I think it was vector. Wasn't this vector? Uh, translating over the vector code to actual uh, raster graphics. Oh, it wasn't a vector game. 
what was I thinking of? Oh. Wasn't the vector game. <laughs> Everybody's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Much easier. If it was a vector game, you'd have to really work on the graphics quite a bit. No Easter eggs added. Straight code from the arcade machine, which is cool. Yep. Um, like you, if you can translate exactly an arcade game to to a system, why wouldn't you do an exact translation? Because that's way cooler than manipulating and adding easter eggs and stuff it's like no this is the arcade game like literally the arcade game yeah. great job absolutely stunning stunning um literal port you can actually call this one a port of yeah. the arcade game <laughs> <laughs> a lot of games are just conversions because they do their own code yeah exactly. but this one is a port it's pure 256 by 240 bitmap graphics. Every single pixel is drawn individually, including with the text drawn pixel by pixel. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, cool. So there's no, um, there's no sprites. So right. everything was like dot, 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 individually. No player missiles, by the way. Ah, wow. No sprites. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very, very cool. And using VBXE. More games. I mean, not many people have a VBXE card on their system because uh, you have to get installed, you have to pay for it, have somebody to knowledge put it put it in for you. But it, it's very cool to see VBXE games. It's like get enhanced versions of your games. Okay, we're moving on. Thank you so much for coming into the chat. Um, Eric and... Um, oh, I forgot your names. <laughs> Uh, the R and the A and the E. Um, Robert Antwitz, Eric Antwitz, and John Weisgerber. I don't think John was here. Um, but thank you for uh, making this amazing game and uh, being in the chat to answer questions. Hopefully we did it justice. I think I, think I did okay for somebody who doesn't play Missile Command <laughs> very often. Okay, next game which we have an exclusive final version of the game. Warning. Warning. Oh, the tree ball is Kitties. loose. The tree ball is loose. Thomas is, oh, you know what's going on now. Let's load up that tree ball. We get the pink one this time. Well, I talk about the next game. Get you all prepped for it. So the next game is... Nice try, buddy. Shift for the Atari 8-bit by Haplo, H4PLO, who did code graphics sound effects, Andy Johns for the graphics, and Marukpa for the graphics and scripting. So let's switch over to the cat cam. Get it, get it. This time it wasn't me. Eric wanted to use this 160 by 192 graphics mode on the real Atari without VBXE, but all the code depended on being 256 wide. Yeah, you'd have to redo all the graphics. But th it's much cooler this way. So this is first posted May 10th, 2024. We have the final exclusive version of this game with all the levels. This builds from May 24th. Today he passed this over to me. It's a 28K XEX game. Um, and it is a port of a modern game, a very, oh, very new game. Cool. Well, newish game, about six years ago. Um, that was released on the uh, Switch, on PS4. Um, it was on Steam, a bunch of other, all the, all the new platforms. And this version that we're playing will be available on the Atari Age forums a couple hours after we play it, uh, when the developer wakes up. Uh, where would that be then? Probably Australia then? Or they just sleep interesting hours. <laughs> uh, so, well, let's... Well, if Australia... No, I don't know what time it is in Australia. Uh, about s seven hours behind. Seven, eight, nine, around then. So when I do Australia shows, I do them at the 6 p.m. When I do European shows, which is usually at the Atari 8-bit, I do them in the early shows mm. so that developers can uh, come into the chat. That's North Americans, yeah, they're fine on both. 
Uh, okay, so let's take a look at uh, the original game, which was called Shift Quantum. Make sure I don't blow your eardrums. Come on. There we go. Uh, Shift Quantum is a brain-busting platformer with a unique mechanic called shifting. A way to twist your environment and invert the space around you. Bend your mind to react, uh, to reach the exit of each level and veil the secrets of a strange program. Extend the experience, create and share your own levels. So the original one, you're able to uh, create your own levels. So uh, on this version, it flips the black to to white and flips it around. On the version we're going to be playing, it doesn't do the rotation because that's a lot more difficult, obviously, on an Atari 8-bit. Not impossible, but a lot more difficult. Um, so you have to kind of think uh, differently on how you get around obstacles. Get it! Get it, kitty. And you have to make your way to the exit. And you have to be on the screen that the exit's on. Right. And then walk into it. So let's just fast forward a little bit. So it gets more and more complex. Um, and there are spikes. There's some spikes. And depending on uh, which side of the black or the white, you encounter the spikes. And those cubes don't flip. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, non-flipping cubes. So we'll see how much he has brought over. I know he's brought the spikes, he's brought the inversion, not the flipping. It's automatically flips. Um, but I don't know about the cubes that don't flip. So let's get back to the Atari 8-bit and load it up. I need to make a little intro for exclusive. Not world premiere, because I have world premiere one, but an exclusive. It's like a simple, it goes exclusive. Something like that. Okay, and this one's on joystick. I'll give you the non-crunchy one. With the bad connector. Oh, okay. Because you don't need to jump? Uh, you do need to jump. Up, yeah, there is no button, I don't oh, okay. think, in this game. Change the graphic. Shift by Ali Pugliadi. You hear that cat? Mm -hmm. Where's that cat from? Andy John's graphics. Marukpa graphics scripting based on a game by Antoni Lavelle Armor Games. Okay, start her up. So you can skip directly to a level, but we're going to start from the beginning. Um, hello, subject 9978, run to the gate, use joystick 2, B2, B1. So that's the code, I'm guessing, is on the door for the level. Put joystick up to jump. These are bad for you. Spike A's. You can already tell I'm going to die. Oh, you do use a, the button is to invert. I think there's lots of levels where you don't die yet. And you just have to figure puzzles out, and then the spikes come in. To toggle between music and sound effects, press S, or Option. Oh, there's sound effects. We'll keep it on the music for now. Yay! So, uh, what Haplo wrote about this game... It says QM Bole. Step into the monochromatic and mind-bending universe of Shift, where black and white landscapes hide more than meets the eye. And he said this is a preview release. He was talking about the one that's already out. It contains the first ten levels of the game. It is missing a few features, sound effects, and very likely contains bugs. Um, so I did a, a little bit of testing for, for this game before it came out, before he released it. And I, I love it. It's right up my alley. It's platformer puzzle. It's more puzzle than platformer, but it does have some spikes and stuff that you have to avoid. Did you get them all? You got all? Good kitty. Good kitty. You got all the treats. Yeah, you're so smart. Oh. 
that it's uh it's um because you don't fall you're always on the platform but on the <laughs> other side of the platform uh, uh yeah my brain has not uh figured out it's actually quite difficult to like for me, it's just kind of make your way as close to the vertical and horizontal position. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now you need to move over to the door, near the door, and I can get even closer, and you can finish it. There you go. Mm -mm. Spikes are involved now. get on the horizontal plane of the door. Ah! The spikes are hurtful! Those are my feelings! <laughs> they hurt my feelings and my feet. Oh. Whoa! So you can oh no, you didn't jump! Wow. <laughs> or you tried yeah. to jump. Yeah, I did not successfully... Uh, so this is one of those mode. games where you have infinite lives, which is nice. Oh. Well, let's hand it over to you, because <laughs> I seem incapable of carrying on past this point. <laughs> this is now the platforming gets into it. Ah! You can't do it either. I'm just kidding. Need some lead time. A little bit of lead time. Each game has its own way of... Oh my god. Just barely caught his foot there. Oh, okay. There we go. It's always the joystick. <laughs> always. Now, which side should I go? Probably here. Okay. No. Oh. You can you can drift. Yeah, yeah. You can drift. On this one. Drifting. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting closer. Ooh. Oh, that's where you were. I think I need to there we go. Ah. Oh, my foot touched the very edge. Or not? Hmm. I heard another cat out there. The Atari is like talking to his. Oh, because your window's open to the deck. That's fine. It's totally no, fine. What I mean is like that's where the cat went. Oh yeah, yeah. How do I get there? Maybe. Oh, I go this way. Here we go. But that's Atari there. Oh, I did make it. Ah. Blockage. Ah, blockage. We're in level 10, so this would be... Oh, I need to go down here? Yes, I do. So this would be the end of the demo right now. Oh, God. Jump. No, don't switch. Oh, actually. I can't find any cat noises. Oh, no, it stopped me around about five minutes ago. That's a trick you can do if jumps are hard. You go jump, 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 and jump, and then you press over. Mm. You still have to kind of time it. Ooh, I think I need to go down here, so I'll be on top of that. Then I need to be on that. No. Yes. Uh, here? Uh, no, I think you could jump up there, though. Not no. quite. Oh, I need to go down here. And down here. Then I can jump over. Oh, my God. oh fudge a duck. <laughs> and here. And I can jump over. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> so that'll be the end of the demo. So we're able to see a new levels now. And now there are oh, I buttons see. to push. So you can switch. So now it's kind of back to tutorial easy levels to learn the new mechanics. Wee, wee, wee. Oh! Uh, I saw Furiosa last night. Oh, Opening was it good? night. Was it good? Um, that sounds like it was okay. No, I'm, I'm just worried about anybody who doesn't want to hear no. spoilers. Yeah. 
So anybody who doesn't want to hear non-story spoilers, like how, like if it was good or not, just plug your ears and turn off the sound for the next little bit. And I will go thumbs I'll, up. I'll go like this. When it's over? It's yeah. Over. La, 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 la. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Tanya and I went to watch um, uh, Furiosa, A Bad Max Saga, I think it's called, the full title. Um, I think Mad Max um, Fury Road is one of the best films ever made. It is an absolute masterpiece of a, of a film. Um, so I had high expectations. They've had a lot of time to um, work on this next, next movie. Five years? I don't know how long it's been. It's been a number of years anyway. But it doesn't have Mad Max. Come on. Because it's Furiosa's story, and Furiosa didn't meet Mad Max until that last film. So we can't have a prequel. What is happening? Oh, oh, what? I think it's that you just can't, you can't flip do it, it while you're there, yeah. Oh, it's death. Oh, that's... How did I get there without dying? I think I accidentally got there. Yeah, you can't flip it there. Interesting. Uh, anyway, I can do it here. Can I make it over there? Oh, I can! Nice. Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, so I w went in with high expectations, but also, like, yeah, it, it may not be as good because it was it's hard to make a masterpiece another masterpiece um i i liked it quite a bit like really good hmm. um i would give it eight or nine out of ten hmm. if like mad max fury road was a 10 out of 10 which it is um it is really really good um because some you go oh it's a sequel Are they going to mess it up? And you usually expect them to mess it up, especially with, like, the old man Maxes. <laughs> You're like, Ugh. They get worse and worse. <laughs> Actually, no, they just get worse. They got okay to amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Road Warrior is, like, it's kind of weird. But at the end, it's awesome. Road Warrior is Yeah, Mad Max, is, Mad Max is, like, wacky. Road Warrior is just like epically yeah. good. Yeah, Road yeah. Warrior is amazing. Yeah. yeah, and then the third one is like, uh, this is a kids movie. <laughs> what is this? What are we watching here? Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, it's just weird and not good. Um, it's got, it looks really good. Like the third one, um, but it's the story is trash. Can we do that? Yep. And then jump on it or something. What? Go right. Sorry? Go up to it and yeah. now flip. Can you flip there? Yeah. Okay. I can't really go anywhere. Um, acting's amazing. Script is. Oh, great. you want to be in that little right there? Oh, there? No, that didn't, that didn't. That didn't work. Um, yeah, the casting's amazing. The sets are astounding again. I don't know. This is hard. <laughs> oh, I can't switch it on that. Oh, go stand on it. Oh, that one? No, no, the other one. Oh. No, nope. can't do it. No. Nope. Um, what else can I say about it? Oh, do I need to switch it so I can get past it down here? Maybe. So I can get past it. I don't know how the initial <laughs> look of this was. Oh! Then I jump on it there. Yeah. Damn it. So I go down here. Um, anyway, a thumbs up. It It's awesome. I recommend it. And Darcy can wave to end the... It's all over. Okay. <laughs> now you can listen again. So I think I have to jump on it here. 
Ah! <laughs> if I can do it. Come on. There you go. Yay! Hooray. Does Hemsworth get to use his real accent? But yeah, it's, it's very Australian. <laughs> That's not a spoiler or anything. Um, next level has scary monsters. Ooh, now we're getting into something. Okay. I think I need to go flip this one down here. Open. Oh, should I be able to get? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, does that open it over here? No, nope. that one down there does. There we go. I have to go all the way around. To here again. Jump, jump, jump. Then I fall down here. And home free! Scary monsters abound! Based on the... Shh. Don't talk anymore about it. I'm just going to read it. I'm just saying. Because I haven't read it. Yeah. Based on the trailers, the climax is about a 30 minute chess match between ATJ and Thor. <laughs> exactly. It's all chess. Shouldn't I be able to fall? I know that's not true. Oh, this is the that? scary Oh, monster. it's because you'll fall through the door. Oh, no. Despites. I have to flip that. Yeah. What is that thing on the right? Oh, it's a wall. Okay, so where is the flippy? There's one, two, three. Okay, let's go. Oh, not that far. In there. Oh boy. Can I make that? Oh, I can. I feel that you can. Oh, jump. Then I don't think I can make that, but I have to. Oh, I can. Flip. And then I jump over there. Can't flip that, but I can flip that. <gasps> then I get that. Haha. Now I do the opposite. didn't like he didn't eat you didn't like your taste oh that was the scary monster i get it now yeah oh i need to flip that go here then that's a platform what happened oh, i can't but i can jump over to there yeah. if you and can then that's probably what you need to do and it was over here flip jump Flip, jump, flip. Uh. Oh, down here. Flip, jump. No! no! What? Okay. Oh. Try this again. Oh, we should do the sound effects. What was the? Was it... uh... what was the... No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we've got sound effects on. Just so people can hear the sound effects. How do I get back though? That is going to be the question. Oh no, I should have gone there. That's it. That's okay. Down here. Then I can go to that then. You can't flip on those things, though. No. So I have to be down here. Then I can... Be there? Did I... I messed up. I messed up. Hmm. I have to be on... This? Yeah, jump there. Now flip. There we go. Nice. Enjoy shifting so far? Buy Haploa coffee. Now, I wonder if this is the last level. He didn't say to me how many levels there were. And this is double what the initial one has. So I have to flip all those. Make me think of Mr. Bill. <laughs> no! Flip. Oh, that was sufficient. And, oh, can't get that one. 
Mm. Ah, one, yeah. Now I can get that one. Whoa, that was close. And I get that one. So I've got all those three. Just have to get that one. So it makes a little platform. Uh, yep, I have to do it here. <laughs> that is close. So let's go over here. Uh, hmm. No. Oh, okay. That's still. How do I get that one over there? You just jump to it. But I'll. Oh, I won't die. Because I can. Oh, there's no way I can get over there and then back. But I don't see any other way. It's got to be done that way. Jump! Oh, that's not how you jump. Okay, just that. So you go here and then. Oh no, I have to flip that. Damn it. That should be on the other side. And I might be able to jump from there. But then you would die. The, the things don't stay flipped when you're dead. Oh, damn. <laughs> when you uh, die, you have to start over, right? You do. So I'm hoping that there's enough room to get it and get back. Right? Like jump over there and... And, um, and then fall to... Then like there. that like yeah that. yeah yeah and then it actually should be enough hey, Smudge, did you that... find a kitty cat noise did you somewhere? find your friend outside friend it's like i have no friends outside they are cat enemies they're all enemies they will one day pay oh no 21 inside is outside flip Does that help? Oh, it opens it up. Okay. Then I need to flip that one. Uh, no. What? No. How do I get to that one over there? Oh, like that. Okay. Good. Good. Now, do I flip it here? Yes. Oops. I guess not the press the button. Because I was trying to jump through here. Jump, mm. jump. Yay! Level 22. And dark and light don't differ. Okay, I have to open this up. jumping well the uh, original game had wall that. jumping the original game had wall jumping did it yeah. this one doesn't but that is oh, i've seen of... you have it a couple times really yeah but not off a of wall wall off of like a ledge ledge it's not wall grabbing it's ledge grabbing yeah yeah so if i go i don't it hasn't been it hasn't been a necessary part yet oh my head <laughs> Hmm. Can you? Go you can. There. You already did that, though. But it, yeah. What? How do I get? Maybe I just stay down here. Oh. oh. You need to get this one. Yeah. Or nope. no, that's, that's not, not it. that one. Is it? It's one of those then. Hmm. Yeah. Make my way back. Oh, easy. Da, da, da. She must have shells, boots from Portal with their ground seeking inertial dampeners. <laughs> yep. So I need to open that and probably, well, maybe not that one. I mean, unless they're adding in red herring bridges, you <laughs> probably do have to open them. Probably have to flip all of them. No! No, oh, I need to open that up. Does that open it up? Yes, it does. Excellent. Okay, which one do I need to flip? Probably the mid. 
air one. Yes, now there's a platform. Which way to, I probably want it open so I can go down that. And do I just want to be here? I think so. Yeah. Yay! 24. That puts it out in its spot. Hmm. Maybe. No! Oh god, can't go down there. Uh, I have trapped myself. Glide over! <laughs> we'll make this the last level. Well, we'll go to, we'll beat 25, because 25 seems like a number that he might put in as a last level. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did Get rid of that one. And it's that. Okay. What? Oh, no, it's what? Well, when it goes away, it leaves a wall in the way. Oh, there. That's the opposite way. Uh, so I probably want to switch that. Oh, I think I can get up on this. <gasps> but I can't switch. Mm. I can be on the other side of this. That does that that doesn't help at all. Um, and I can't get into that one yet. If I fall down there. Oh, I think I have to do it anyway. Mm. Chat! <laughs> ah, I can't get up on this. Um, here? Yes, that's how you press that one. <gasps> oh, there we go. Nice. Now I need to make my way... Back. You gotta flip that one. This one? The one below you. The one beside the door. Oh, that. oh, okay. Um, that one? No. Oh, which one is it then? Oh my god. It's, I don't know which switch it is. It's, which of those have okay, you? Okay, let's eliminate. It's not that not one. Not that one. But do I need that one there? Hmm. It's not that one. It is... Oh, it is yeah, that, that one. one. Okay. Now I just need to get there, which I seem to have been able to get there right now. Yes. Level 25. Oh, I don't think this is the end. <laughs> that pickaxe breaks the wall unless you like walls. Uh, this is like a tutorial level. Oh, it just eliminates the walls. You don't even have to pickaxe through it. We'll do this one, because we we learned about pickaxes, and then we'll stop. Uh, so we need the pickaxe. Mine! Uh, there? Nope. How do, we, how do we get that pickaxe? You gotta hit some of those switches. Oh, I see. Like, I fall to get it? No, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. None of this. I'm going down there. I haven't been down there yet. I can flip this switch now. And that'll let you flip that one. Right. Ah. Down there. Right. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Now I have a little bit of a... Leg up on it. 
Yay! Oh, okay. that's too easy. But I do have the code to continue on if I want to continue on from here. Let's just see. Leap of Faith. Ooh, Leaps of Faith are terrible. Awesome! Really great game. Yeah, really cool. Right yeah. up my alley. So when and where is Expo Atari? Expo Atari. Is there an Expo Atari? There's lots of Atari um, meetups around the world. Let's see if I can... Uh... There, there is one um, coming up in 2026 in um, California that I talked about in the last episode. Uh, the the um, organizer is making a website, so I will keep you up to date on that meetup. Expo Atari. Expo Atari? That doesn't come up with anything, so nothing yet. Um so awesome games today great three pack of games yep. um they are all downloadable so you can try them out on your atari if you have vbxe if you don't have vbxe for one of them you can use um altira and there is instructions on the missile command arcade thread on how to install vbxe in altira if you don't know There'll and where do you get a trackball from uh ebay <laughs> your local atari vendor no if you're using an emulator can you use a trackman i think you use a mouse so the, or, you could use the trackman yes yeah. darcy doesn't use mice he hates them <laughs> he uh no, i hate them but when have, did you ever use a mouse i mean before trackman was available <laughs> yeah i used the mouse then so he uses pretty much what you see here a trackball but it's like the thumb, and your hand sits like this, and the, the marble's under your thumb. And you so, just... so it's literally an upside-down ball mouse. So Darcy never went laser. But actually, I did have a laser mouse at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um... the great thing about them is that you don't need space to use them. Yes. So you could like hold it on the side of your head. <laughs> you could put it anywhere you want because it's your thumb that does the movement, and it just sits there. And there were some laptops with uh, little rollerballs too. Yep. But everybody would use their finger on those. and On the nubs. I mean, it's very clear that the thumb works. At, like, they don't make finger ball mice anymore, but they had them for a while. But the thumb ones are still around. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, did I ever have one? And once you get used to it, oh my god, it's so much better in so many ways. But a I, think a, I think if you're playing like a first-person shooter, yeah. then a mouse, the... The Precision. weight of it, the the fact that there, yeah, there's, it's a very, it can be very high resolution. I mean, you can yeah. you can also get one that changes the resolution. I have oh, one where you press the button and it lowers the resolution true. of the thumb mouse thing. Logitech still makes them. Do they? Are yeah, they still Logitech available? is the one that makes. They're the one that makes them. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a segment of the population that doesn't have space or is very used to them or likes them. Uh, there are huge advantages. There are huge advantages yep. when it comes to the space thing. Yeah, yeah. And like when you're mobile, that's where they really come in. You know, you yep. just chuck it in your bag and you don't even need mouse. Like pads, you can sit space. on a chair. You don't need a table or anything. Yeah. Know? So what's coming up? Uh, Atari 7800 40th anniversary classic gaming countdown day two is probably going to be on Sunday night. That's where we kind of temporarily have it right now. So uh, tune in then for the next 20 uh, classic 7800 games. Next Tuesday, we're probably going to be doing a 7800 day. If more games come up on another platform, we might switch to that. I also have a one game. I have Super Pro Racers, which is super awesome on the 7800. Um, so I'd really like to play that next. So that's on Tuesday with Tanya. And then we might do a Lynx Day after that. Might see what shows up. I know there's a couple 2600 games I want to get to as well. So one or two of those might be bumped. Don't know for sure. Oh, if I rush right now, I'll get there eight minutes too late. To oh, the to no. The fairies, so. Sorry. No, that's, that's fine. That saves me some stress of Good. trying. Less stress, more time. <laughs> a little relax. more time, yeah. So that's what's coming up on the show. Um, I am probably going to schedule the developer spotlight on Steve Englehart very, very soon. So you'll see that going into the schedule. 
um, is an extensive list of games as a developer. So we might be going through those really quick. Maybe stopping on some once in a while that he wants to highlight more than others, but he has a huge list. So it's gonna be uh, quite a show when we do his developer spotlight. And we have a secret homebrew that we're gonna show off of his. Not gonna be revealed to the day of the show. And I said it last show, it is a game that almost everybody has either played or has heard of, but would never, ever, ever, ever think to port it to the 7800. I, you could guess for days and you would never get this game. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny that way. Arriving late and leaving early. Well, I wouldn't say he's leaving early. We're at two hours and 43 minutes <laughs> if we started right away. So two and a half hours. Uh, that's, that's a normal Normalish show. Normalish yeah. show, yep. yep. Around two hours. Uh, we also have a uh, secret homebrew from homebrew from yeah, Champ the re Games. The reason for for it starting late is just that the very schedule has changed and it arrives 40, 40 or 50 minutes later than right. before. So and it's it going to be like... Like this summer is different. In the previous summers, it left 20 minutes earlier than it is now. So I, that's why, like, yeah. Anyways, long, cool story, bro. <laughs> Longer show, yes. yes. Uh, Elden Ring, Virtual Fighter. Uh, no, it's it's a game that definitely could be ported to the 7800. It's an older game, older than Virtual Fighter. Um, but it could be Elden Ring, and we're not commenting on which <laughs> it is. It's right, it could so be. So nice try. Yep, keep guessing. <laughs> keep guessing, there will be... No confirmations. No confirmations. Yeah, I have to do, I have to do that sometimes. I have to go, I'm not... Confirming or denying any of these. Sonic. Commander Keen. <laughs> no. No. None of those. Uh, we also have a developer spotlight. Wait, practice again. No comment. I mean, no comment. <laughs> no, they, they won't guess it. That's Commander Keen would be awesome on the 7800. Yeah, I think it could to, be done. Yeah, you scale to, down a bit. There's you have a to give the on. same reaction no GTA. matter what it is, right, Atari? Just a straight up. Because otherwise, if they happen to guess, then you're you give it away by being screwed. Oh my God! <laughs> that is true. Uh, developer light uh, spotlight on Lawrence Stavely from Reboot and Chris Walton also coming up this year. Looking forward to those. Always fun to have developers on the show. And uh, that's it for us. Thanks for hanging out on this Atari 8-bit day. Um, Al Nefer, Gamma Dev. James has no poker face. <laughs> oh, don't I? I could have a poker face. My poker face is very revealing. <laughs> this um, is not good for poker. Let me, <laughs> let me see if it has been ported. I bet it has. <gasps> they can't see it. Oh my god, it's on the screen! It's reflecting in your eyes. Zoom, enhance, rotate. 90 degrees. <laughs> I turned my head to give you an uh, an advantage, but it doesn't, because a globe is a globe. It doesn't matter which way you point your globe. It's true. It has a 360. Uh, yes, I'm going to continue with my own game to finish up what I wanted to add in, the two players, the fruit. Those are the two things I want to add in. And all the other little tiny things, but those are the major things. Uh, the game uh, was ported to other uh, platforms. So it has been ported, but, don't, but not very, not very many. Yeah. Uh, when we were, when will we release the new plus card Uno card feature? Ooh, let's get on that. Uh, cause you are ready to do that. So let's, um, let's do that. I'll be in contact, Al. Yes. Uh, uh pack line FPT a 7,800. Oh, I put my, in my, my office studio, whatever, I put my speakers on the wall. Which speakers? They're speakers that were on. They're like PA speakers for like oh. for like band practice, whatever. On the wall? How big are they? Um, Usually PA speakers are like... About this big. Wow. And it's a big arm that comes out and it's got a tube oh, like that. Oh, okay, yeah. I was just looking at your tripods and thinking that I Those have, need to go. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, like, you guys can't see this, but uh, Darcy has prompted me to start looking into mounting all my lights and my camera on the ceiling and wall, which would free and, up so much mic. clutter. <sighs> I, I'm just, I, I'm not saying... Probably I, not the mic. It'd be so easy. To, it was just as easy as any of the rest of it. But, yeah, I could have an arm that swings down from the ceiling. Yeah, you could even just 
Like, you could have it just pivot. Pivot, pivot! Yeah. <laughs> like a ball joint or something up there. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. Mm. Yeah, everything's tucked away. Mm -hmm. It would give so much more room. Uh, pack line for the 7800. Somebody already ported it to the 7800, so that's already done. Pac-Man Championship Edition. It is nothing that you have thought of. Year? No, I'm not going to give specifics. Uh, I will say... No, he means what year are you going to continue with your own game? <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's so sarcastic that I missed it. <laughs> I don't know if that's what he meant. That's that's uh, that's uh, this century, a fun interpretation. How about that for an answer to that <laughs> terrible question? Timber! Ooh, I would love that game to be ported. That's on my short list of games that I want ported. You're giving them all the information. <laughs> they will never guess this game. Never. It was in the 90s. That's it. That's all you get. You're so bad at keeping <laughs> secrets. Like. No, they'll never guess it. There's so many games released in the 90s. Uh, no, guys, it was a game that was released in the 90s. You know which one. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Wink, wink. Uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Gamma Dev, Master KSI, Avatar Collection, Spell and Denied, Polygox, Thrust, uh, Al Nefer, Vitoko, um, Dan AVC, Chitlit La, R. Antuitz, thank you for the awesome port of Missile Command Arcade. Uh, e. Antuitz, thank you as well for the awesome port. That blows away, will destroy everything. And that port. was definitely no not a vector, definitely not a vector, definitely not a vector. <laughs> not a vector, not a vector, not a vector. <laughs> I was looking up something the other day, and I don't, and um, it was like, oh, this is a vector game. And it just got in my mind. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Prow7, uh, Carl G, Calfman 2D. Who else has hanging out? Phaser Cat Games as well. Oh, Buck Owens. And that's the end of the list. And everybody else who is uh, who was hanging out with us and just lurking. So we will see you again on maybe Sunday, most likely Sunday, but definitely next Tuesday for some more awesome homebrew. It's all in television all the time now, since Intellivision is now Atari Homebrew. No, just kidding. Uh, there's many more in television home Bruce channel, so I don't need to, I don't need to branch out. Um, so, but we will oh, see. Oh, poll results. results. Poll results. Long time ago, it was uh, split. I think positive sixty. Uh, actually, I can look it up. What's interesting is that all the people saying positive were like right at the beginning. One, 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 and then it was like a neither, burst of neither, three. It was three, 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 three. It was yeah. exactly fifty-eight point eight percent said it would be positive that in that it is positive or will be positive that uh, Atari bought in television. Six percent said negative. Thirty-five. Oh, there was a negative. Mm -hmm. Six per six five point nine. Be precise. Five point nine percent people said negative, and uh, neither thirty five point three. So people are. I mean, if we're waiting. being, if we're trying to be accurate, we we wouldn't <laughs> go with percentages with this small number of a poll yeah. to begin with. We'd just say one in seventeen. <laughs> in television, <laughs> a tiny subdivision of Atari. Yeah, there's some people who work on the Atari in television division of Atari now, which is so weird. So weird. We'll get used to it. Uh, bye everyone. See you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Bye bye.